Um, well, it already had the car started out the back, so no, look, one thing with our playing group, we're, we're really confident that they're a good bunch of individuals and, and they tried to the very last minute, even last week in receiving. You know, I thought our effort to the end was good, we just didn't get the reward. So, look, I can't say that I thought we were going to get up at the 25 minute mark when we are four or five down, um, but you know, I, I was pleased that they you know, they fought on and it's something that we really work hard on. Yeah, look, I spoke to the group downstairs after the game and, and there's going to be many people who rate that right up there with, you know, great comebacks and, and all of that. Where it sits, as a coach, you kind of, you don't rank wins are wins and losses are losses and, and you try and work and learn from them. Um, but I think if I said to you that wasn't a great win and it wasn't one of the best, you'd probably have a bit of a chuckle and say, you know, you know you're playing the straight down. That, that's fantastic. Five goals in, I think, five and a half minutes of play, um, plus two or three points. I mean, the seven or eight scoring shots, I think, in the last five minutes of actual play. So, um, you know, the disappointing part is some of that was on the back of what we tried to do all day. Um, it wasn't too right, late in the quarter, um, late in the game, that we were able to put into action what we wanted. So that's you know, we, a good thing for me as a coach, you often say to um, your players that you've got to play games right out and it's never over. So I guess it's probably one I can always come back. Remember that day and where we were gone and everyone giving up on us and, and we were able to you know, fight it out to the end. So that's probably one for the, one of my sermons later in, later in life. Very much so. It's a, it's a, whilst it's still early in the season, we've only played five games. The Swans are going to be a quality side. They're going to be in the mix for the five with us. And any time you can get one up on sides around um, the same area of the ladder, the better you, you are. And two and three, we would have slipped, you know, three or four games off, well, three games off the top of the ladder, and it wasn't something that we were prepared to do. So, you know, all credit to the players. I think Lane Rasmussen is an outstanding individual. Um, he's intelligent, he's hardworking, he's everything that, you know, at a football club you want. Um, that's why at 21 years of age, 22 years of age, he's in our leadership group. I thought his efforts consistently over the four quarters um, were fantastic. And, and without his efforts through probably the first three and a half quarters, we probably would have made six or seven or eight goals down. Um, his want to compete. And that's all we really ask of everyone in our club. Um, he, he today was far and beyond anyone else in, in a group where I thought there was another you know, number of players who were good, but you know, I don't often single people out. But he, he was clearly the best player for us today. Uh, look, it's, it's one of those ones we thought Geordie might have got up this week. Uh, Five day turnaround, it's it, you know, whether he can get up now, ruled out of today's game, um, you know, it's going to be touch and go. If we had you know, seven, eight, nine day break again, then he'd be a chance. Marcus, from, from what I understand, is going to have a um, x ray tomorrow. He's been in a cast for three or four weeks now, so he'll get that off tomorrow, have an x ray. If the x ray say that it's healed enough and the doctors are happy, he'll play, and if not, um, then it's a matter of. Unfortunately, the healing of bones is an exact science, so uh, he's fairly confident that he'll be right, but he walked around in a, a split for three weeks, of course it feels fine. Um, both of them are very important to us. You know, Sam Rotham doing a great job, an 18 year old kid, uh, it's leaving us exposed down back. I thought the Swans probably got us with their marking in the, in the forward half um, for most of the day, but we're literally running, you know, probably five or six key position players short on our best, you know, where it's, people talk about injuries all the time. Um, we don't have a huge injury list, but just in the areas we can't really afford at the moment, you know, we're, we're, we're really shy on big, you know, Drew Rowe goes back though. Drew's about 184, playing ten and a half back on Geepen, Knott, Newich and um, Horton. So it's a big ask for, for Drew, and I, I thought he was very, very good today.
win and loss has a huge bearing on how much you limp on and off field. So our boats, the adrenaline, so was so high at the end of the game. Um, I'm sure we got boats who are sore, um, but clearly Faulkner for one for them was um, severely limited, probably after half time. Um, you know, the was over. So look, we're not going to probably know until tomorrow. We, we've got a five day break, um, so we'll have a recovery tomorrow night. But at this stage, it doesn't seem to be anything major. Very good. Um, with, with Tyler, what you know, 11 weeks without training or playing, you know, we, we are really realistic where he sits at the moment. What we saw today was some really good signs from Tyler. Um, we're not going to put a great deal of pressure on him. We're just going to ease him through it. We played him down back. He read the ball really well. A couple of intercept marks, a couple of good spoils. He, you know, after watching him play half a game in the reserves today. Um, to watch him mainly the first half and not so much after that. Um, I'm fairly confident that we've got someone who's going to have an impact in the second half of the year for us.